Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R. And in this session, we are going to learn how to add error bars on the stacked bar plot. In my previous videos, we have seen how to add error bars to dodged bar plots or group bar plots. But that is quite easy. Adding error bars to stacked bar plots is little difficult because we have to find out position of top of each bar. And this position is determined by ggplot2 at the back end using that geom call function. We need to place error bars at top of part of each stacked bar at these positions. And we have to calculate these positions using cumsum function and that we will see here. I have practiced a lot to get error bars properly and th this is the indication of that we'll, but we will start here again and for that we have to call library tidyverse and tidyverse is a bundle of many packages uh, like ggplot2, tidyer, deployer and we are going to use functions of these packages therefore I am calling the bundle again instead of calling each library separately and we will make the iris long table by collapsing numeric columns of iris data and for that I will use pivot longer function on this iris data iris I am piping that to pivot longer function and in pivot longer columns the first four columns I am going to collapse and names of those columns will go to column called as flower part and I will use this uh, flowers f as uppercase and p as lowercase I have to remember that and then uh, values will go to measurement spelling mistake values will go to column called as measurement and we'll run that to see if that pivoting has taken place or not and pivoting has worked we'll see that and this is the pivoting has worked now we are going to determine summary of this but before that I will bring that to lower line and again put the that pipe operator and we'll group this because we have to summarize using this group uh, group group by and for that I will group that using spaces and next grouping will be flower part so that we'll get uh, summary for each combination of spaces and uh, flower part summary for these combinations and after that grouping I will again use the pipe operator and will pipe that to summarize function and in summarize function I will use that mean L here the mean of all those will be calculated mean of measurement and next summary I will calculate is SDL is equal to SD of measurement and we'll see whether it has worked or not and it has worked and don't bother about this warning that dot groups argument is there you can override using the dot group argument we are re we require that grouped output only by species one now here we'll calculate the positions of this top of each uh, part of that stack stack bar and for that we are going to use but first we have to arrange that and remember this arrangement is very essential uh, arrange that according to spaces and according to descending order and this arrangement if you forget you will not get error bars placed properly therefore please remember this arrangement is very essential descending and that descending will be according to flower part and these measurements will get arranged as per descending order and we'll run that and you see here now petal length instead of that we are getting sepal width sepal length petal width petal length okay. this arrangement is the arrangement of this plot these uh, parts of the stack bar therefore this step is uh, essential step to get error bars located properly now will use mutate function to lo determine locations of top of each part and for that come in the, is the function uh, is the variable which I will create and that will come sum of mean cumulative sum of mean L and we'll run that and we'll see how that works iris long 
and here that cumulative mean is there 3.43 and then next will be addition of this two this one the fourth will be addition of this three this one and uh, last will be the addition of about three that will be 10.1 and for each group the same uh, cumulative mean has been determined and then will determine the lower end also for error bar lower end and that will be come mean minus sdl and next will be upper end of error bars lower end of error bar will be somewhere here and upper end will be somewhere here that is mean minus sc standard deviation mean uh, plus standard deviation upper is equal to uh, that come mean name is cm mean i gave here cm mean plus sdl and now we'll run that and we'll see whether that lower and upper has got calculated or not lower and upper have get, got calculated now this data frame is ready for us to plot error bars on the stacked bar plot we'll use the ggplot function for that ggplot function and this data frame will use as input for ggplot2 and then aesthetic aes uh, i will uh, go for spaces because this bar x axis will be spaces and y axis will be mean l and will use that fill map fill arg argument to floor part so that we'll see all those like this and then geom call will give us the stacked bar plot like this now we have to add bars here error bars here for that we'll use geom error function geom error bar and to that aesthetic again aes mean l cm mean we have to use cm mean minus sdl cm mean plus sdl and we'll see whether we are getting the error bars at the proper location or not i forgot to uh, name this as y min is equal to and this as y max y max and therefore that error was there that y min y max have not been specified and you can see those error bars at their perfect locations now we will tweak it just by reducing this width of these error bars width is equal to 0.2 and then the error bars are ready we'll tweak that just by using geom call color is equal to gray 60 so that will get gray 30 i will give so the darker border will be there for each bar and run that and this looks quite nice you can uh, reduce the bar darkness to avoid the obvious uh, this one either uh, uh, this line will get confused with the error bar lines and now uh, this bar plot can be customized as per your requirement and that's all for this video and please remember that this arrangement is very essential to locate or place these bars at this i will show you without this arrangement i will comment it out and we'll run that and we'll run the ggplot again and you see that there is no proper arrangement of error bars when i remove that hash there is proper arrangement of error bars at their particular locations okay. that's all for this video if you have liked this video please click like button subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and again thanks for watching this video